Hello traders and welcome to live trade examples from the Forex boat and today we will be looking at the trade setup on the Litecoin versus the dollar. If you haven't subscribed you can do it now to follow all upcoming trade setups which certainly can help to improve your trading approach, trading skills and performance. So let's get started. First off the trend is your friend and it's always better to go with the trend. For example, if we zoom it out on the Litecoin, we can see that price starting to produce higher highs and higher lows. I do like a lot using the Elliott wave theory and we will try to see if we can apply it right now. From what I see, this could have been an ABC correction. And uh, all in all, this should be wave 1, 2, three, four and five. Now how we can calculate the potential upside move for the current wave if this is in fact an ABC correction? Well first to make sure that it was a correction and this is an one, two, three, four, five move, I would apply FIPS here. So first FIPS shows me that the price corrected 50%. Usually it goes around 61.8% FIPS, but sometimes it's 50. We can see it nearly tested the 61.8 FIPS. If I have applied another FIPS here, the second correction is approximately 38.2 to 50% FIPS. Okay, we have a approximately 50-61 as well. Here is the rejection. So this could be in fact the one, two, three, four, five move from the Litecoin. If it is such a move, we can calculate what will be the final wave to the upside. And usually it equals to the first wave or more or less the same. So we can basically use the same percentage, just clone our calculations and I will put it there. So what we have is the, the potential move to the upside approximately towards the $61. And it's getting now more interesting because we will start to analyze where and how it might be getting towards this level. Now, first off, we made sure that it's a bullish trend by zooming it out and see high highs and higher lows. In fact, this could have been an ABC correction as well. And all in all, this could be the same, the bigger one, one, two, three, four, five, because here we after this move we can see another abc and then final move to the upside so probably it will be something like that all on the long term now let's get back to the smaller time frame four hour time frame and here we see this rejection of the 200 exponential moving average i do like looking at the moving averages especially on the daily time frame and they do show what is the main direction? Currently we see that the price is above both moving averages, which is good in terms of buying opportunity. The next thing is better to see the, what happens with the simple trend line. Just apply a simple trend line and see if the price below or above. We can see that there was a rejection here and price broke to the upside. And I can mark this level of the rejection because what we see, it is acting as the support, which is also quite a bullish sign. Another thing I like using is channels. So why not to apply a channel to the uptrend? We will connect two lows and the highest point in between them. So here we can see that there was a break above the channel. So I can extend it. So drag it up and we can see that it has reached and rejected the upper trend line of the ascending channel. All in all, it looks very bullish and this could be in fact this next wave to the upside. What I like to do is to measure FIPS here on the last wave to the upside. Usually this could show very important levels. So here I have applied this FIPS and we see that this bottom right now is acting as the support. Okay. And there was a rejection at 50% FIPS, but the next resistance could be at 38.2 FIPS. I also like using first corrective moves after the bottom or the top. For example, here, first corrective move was this one here, because it broke above the 50 exponential moving average and then corrected down. So let's apply FIPS to this correctional move. 
and we see that here we have several resistance levels and support as well 161 has been acting as the resistance around this price area but now it's acting as the support we can see that the, there is a strong support or demand area at this level near $50 which is a strong psychological support as well and what I think is if this support holds I mean no breakouts there could be spikes but we need to avoid four hour and or one hour closure below this price and if there will be no closure, I think price could be rising towards this resistance, which is 361.8 FIPS with a 38.2 FIPS at $62, almost precisely. So here, guys, I have cleaned the chart so it is more clear as to what is happening. All in all, breakout of the trend line, very good sign. And we have this resistance previous made is acting as the support. Very good yet again. In terms of the upside target, this could be this FIBS, two FIBS corresponding to each other, because I do like confirmation of two FIBS, not one, and most of the time I try to see which FIBS goes together. And here, based on this, we can make a trade setup. What would be the trade setup is, if we look at this price, enter it, and target would be at our level, I usually like to put a risk to reward so there is two okay we are risking one in order to achieve two basically our profit would be two times more than the risk if the price will reach the expected resistance so here we adjust in it and you can see just below this hundred level which is also acted as the support and very important that we stick to the plan we don't increase much our stop loss and basically it's always better to stick to the plan so for the time being we could at the maximum increase the stop loss at 1.5 if needed it still would provide us a good risk to reward but yet let's stick to uh, two to one and see how it goes so on this chart the resistance corresponding to the ascending channel right and this means that the price could be rising quite fast if the, there will be a retest of the channel now if i go to the smaller time frame like one hour chart it's always good to check them now just use simple trend lines like here i can use support trend line clearly a very nice uh, rejection here of the trend line and we can also use the downtrend trend line to see on the low time frames here breakout of the downtrend trend line rejection of the uptrend trend line which means that the price is highly likely to continue moving up this is a four hour time frame and of course this can take some time but based basically on um, on the crossing of the channel and our target we can calculate how long it's going to take and all in all the price could be reaching that target within just three days so that's uh, basically what we have in terms of the analysis for the litecoin and we will get back to this analysis once there is some price action okay so we're back to the litecoin versus dollar and here is the trade setup you can see that the price has actually started to move up immediately after the setup for the buy opportunity and we have reached the upside resistance extremely fast actually as it was expected now what we see is that price went up and this could be the wave five perhaps which is extended a little further but all in all the upside target has been tested quite fast so this was an awesome example of this live trade setup and guys just to remind you that most of these setups are going live to our premium signals channel the link for which you can find down in the description of this video we are sharing these setups with our subscribers and of course we are giving them exact signals with the entry stop loss and take profit levels if you enjoyed the video guys don't forget to subscribe to the channel click that notification bell to get notified of all the new trade setups that we're doing every single week and also smash that like button to support the channel until next time with a new trade example